With all the talk these days about fancy nano thises and thats, you might be surprised to know that the latest nanomaterial comes from a seemingly low-tech lab, the forest. We're taking you to a pilot plant at the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Forest Products Laboratory in Madison, Wisconsin. This is one of just two pilot plants in the U.S. where chemical engineers begin with a material from wooden plants, cellulose, and extract tiny structures known as cellulose nanomaterials. The starting material at this facility is a shredded form of industry standard wood pulp. Up at the top of this three-story plant, chemical engineers prepare a sulfuric acid solution in one pressure tank and load the shreddings into the adjacent tank. Then they seal the tanks, which are interconnected through piping, begin showering the shredded pulp with acid, and stir the mushy pulp mixture to start the acid hydrolysis process. That procedure helps remove amorphous regions of cellulose, but leaves behind an acid-resistant cellulose nanomaterial, cellulose nanocrystals. Gravity, a little pressure, and the turn of a valve send the acidified cellulose material from the third level down to a tank on the second level. At this point, the cellulose solution is diluted to stop the hydrolysis reaction and then neutralized. A filtration system on the first level of the pilot plant separates and purifies the cellulose nanocrystals, which can then be collected from solution or colloidal suspensions. A related process turns out another type of cellulose nanomaterial, cellulose nanofibrils. Interested in getting a sample? Cellulose nanomaterials from the pilot plant can now be purchased for research and development. These tiny structures are strong and lightweight and can be used to make gels and polymers that are green as green can be, renewable, biodegradable, and non-toxic. They might be used for flexible electronics and a host of other applications. For Chemical and Engineering News, I'm Mitch Jacoby.